Today I need to talk to you guys about a couple of things. One of them deals with the Nintendo Switch 2 and some, I mean, I, look, I, I can't say it with 100% confidence, but what looks like really fake leaks that I've seen before and chose not to cover, but they keep coming up and now they're posted at a semi-popular website. So I figured we'll go over it and I'll explain to you why I don't think these leaks are real, although they do have some interesting, much requested features that fans would like and then i also want to go over a quote from shintaro furukawa who did more interviews and he talks about how hard it is to keep people interested in playing nintendo games and this obviously is a mentality that he's going through and dealing with how he's going to transition us to the next platform and how he's going to continue to create demand for nintendo's games now before we dive into that i just want to remind you we are on our road to 150,000 subscribers, so if you like the video, I would appreciate if you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and you know what? Ring-a-ling that ding-a-ling so you get notified of all of our videos. All right, let's get into this first off over at Notebook Check. This is the website I was talking about that grabs some of these, you know, likely fake leaks, and I'm going to explain why we didn't cover this before, but let's get into what they said. You know, so it says, a new social media post has made the extraordinary claim of knowing both the Nintendo Switch 2 release date and price. In addition, the same source shares home menu images that are supposedly for the next-gen console. However, recent comments we have a Nintendo Chief Shintaro Furukawa offer only the confirmable truths about any Switch successor hardware, which doesn't really give, you know, it doesn't confirm or deny any of this stuff. So... Here's the thing, it seems quite difficult to build a reputation as a leaker, but apparent and that persistent failure hasn't stopped one source from trying their best to inform the world about Nintendo Switch 2, or in this case, Nintendo's next system. And in other reports, the Nintendo Focus, that's right, it has a name apparently from this stuff. Whether it's the same person posting on Twitter or Reddit, and these supposed leaks is unclear, they do seem insistent about certain things, including Nintendo Switch 2's release date and price. So, the information posted alongside images, the Original poster claims are of the home menu for the Switch successor, and previously deleted posts have shown more images than have been circulating on various online forums for some time. All the images are posted below, and we'll look at those in a moment, although it is deeply unlikely any of them were sourced from or headed to the Nintendo Switch 2. But a release date of October 2024 is stated, as is the unit cost of $429.99, this is suspiciously the same figure that was given in a now-deleted Reddit post that claimed the $4.29.99 was the price of the premium edition Nintendo Focus. Well, $3.99.99 would be the cost for the standard model. Interestingly, the would-be leaker has tagged YouTubers such as RGT85 and OJ Player Essence with this alleged Switch to leak, hoping to get some popular YouTuber coverage. Well, here's your coverage, and I'm doing it by not linking to you at all. I'm going to link down to the notebook check article uh, because this stuff is probably fake now here are some of the images here this is the twitter user that popped up you know it is what it is here are some more images october 2024 price blah 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 and you can see some of the images here but let's get deeper into it so we see a side image here showing assassin's creed origins the big notable fake part here that you you really see before we get into the bigger image is there's a search bar down here this search bar would not be on a home screen for nintendo at least i don't think it would be also this the nintendo eShop may 2016 this is usually listed the other way around officially for nintendo's music so this is indicating a music tracks being played usually this is the other way around I, I just i just want to point that out for what i see fake and this is the first one now here's the big one where we see like here's the broader home screen and look uh you see the focus name here you know focus me maker you see the online stuff up here you see the new supposed logo look this looks okay uh there are some icons that look a little bit low quality this uh eShop icon or whatever it is looks pretty low quality this seems to indicate what a web browser i'm not sure what the pc thing indicates like this is a you know i don't really know what that has to do with switch anyways you see you know the continue close title change user options uh what i'm not seeing is profile pictures unless this is their profile picture for some reason. And obviously, the idea is that this would be from a dev kit. I don't know why a dev kit would have various third-party titles on it, like Assassin's Creed Oranges and Street Fighter VI Deluxe Edition, but you know what? It, this is probably more of a mock-up than it is a reality. Uh, and then we, here we go see it again where, where Smash Bros. is loaded up. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, I obviously don't think any of this is real. It's just something that's been going along. You see what they're currently playing. Uh, you see the eShop has a notification or something going on. This must be your user profile settings. Uh, what's interesting is, and this is probably one of the big indicators, where's the NSO <laughs> link? Uh, I don't think Nintendo would get rid of Nintendo Switch Online, 
but uh, it is what it is. Here's another look with a different background. So this suggests that that last background was indicating there'll be themes. Here's themes. A lot of people want themes. It's a much requested feature where a lot of people want themes. It is nice that the time up here is different. Uh, but yeah, there, there's one of these photos where it sort of shows a PC hooked up. I mean, you can already see all the wires that are coming out of the wall. This kind of looks like an apartment. But uh, here, let's get to the one that sort of shows like a, there's a PC hooked up. I think it's... Oh, I guess I guess the angle isn't uh, quite here. There's one of these that... that uh, here it is. This one right here, you can kind of see a computer right here. So it's probably what this is running on. Anyways, the point isn't to spend a whole lot of time on this stuff. I just want to point out that this stuff's been floating around for months, and it's highly likely fake. If it's not fake, and Nintendo's next system is called the Nintendo Focus, well, let me tell you guys, I will make it my life's mission to get myself uh, down to a twig. And when I get myself down to a twig, which would be like 140 pounds... I will then consume a Carolina Reaper, the whole pepper. I will eat it live. What am I doing to myself? That's how much I'm pretty confident that none of this is actually, actually real. Now, Nintendo did uh, go out there and say something, and we're over here on Nintendo everything. Uh, and it says Nintendo president talks about uh, uh, not resting on laurels, harsh battle. Now, this again was when the, with an interview with NHK that we talked about the other day, where Nintendo maybe said some indicators about future hardware stuff, uh, more so philosophies wise. Well, here's the thing this is on something else. So, Shintaro Furukawa, and the, again, this was translated by the same people who translated the last people for Nintendo everything. It says, we always keep in mind that if we do not keep putting out things that people truly want, they'll get bored of us. Right now, there are various forms of entertainment besides video games. I believe that making people want to spend their precious time on video games, and Nintendo games no less, is a very harsh battle. We approach everything while resolved to the fact that at any time, people may start thinking they do not need Nintendo games anymore. So, this to me is... A really, really interesting quote that it shows that Nintendo, at least Nintendo's president, is acutely aware that a challenge in being the company that they are is maintaining relevance with your content. Whether it has to do with the theme parks or the movies or the video games, they are in a harsh battle with video games. They, they need to get people to dedicate a lot of time and choose their stuff over other people's. And I, I find this to be an interesting quote because we don't see this really talked about by Phil Spencer at Xbox or, you know, Yoshida or, who, or whoever over on Sony's side, you know, Jim Ryan. We don't hear those people saying stuff like this because they're focused on let's keep the vibes good. Let's not make people worry about anything. We're just going to keep going and going. And, and here we sort of have a refreshing take from the president of Nintendo being like, hey, we want people to spend their precious time on our video games. And that's a harsh battle. You know, so we have to approach everything with this idea that we're in this fight for people's time. And this is what, I, what I've talked about with uh, when people say like Nintendo isn't a direct competitor with all these companies. I, I bollocks. They're a direct competitor for people's time. Time is finite and we only have so much to, to get consumers to choose to spend the time on your stuff is hard. And Nintendo has been to the tippity top of the mountain, sort of like they are now with Switch. But they've also been at the bottom like they were at the beginning of the Wii U and 3DS era. And they've seen other things flop as well. The GameCube didn't do as well for them. Heck, the N64 wasn't really a big era for them. Now, but before that, the Virtual Boy tanked. So Nintendo has seen a number of failures over the years. But they've also had really big success stories like the Nintendo Entertainment System or the Wii and DS and now Switch. So... The idea is trying to keep people interested in your products and not just the system, but obviously the software. And it's a struggle for Nintendo, but they obviously are aware of that. And being aware is one way that you actually end up staying above the concern that Nintendo would ever go out of business and stuff like that. So that's really, really, really interesting. Now, I just want to uh, end this video by saying thank you so much for watching. It's been a lot of fun making this video. We have hopefully a lot of stuff coming up this week. We have Gamescom. We got Opening Night Live happening on Tuesday. You know we'll be live reacting to that. I don't really expect much from Nintendo there. 
possibly a new trailer for Super Mario Wonder or Super Mario RPG. Those are like the only things I think Nintendo might have there. And they might even have demos of them, which means we could get a bunch of new gameplay and new uh, features and information, interviews, etc. for those games. At least that is the hope. Hopefully Nintendo brought new stuff to Gamescom and not their old games like they did to PAX East. Anyways, guys, thank you for being here, and I'll catch you in the next video.